Hello there, today I'm going to be showing you the process I go through to make a video. So first you're going to want to create a project I already did. Then you're going to bring in your footage, in this case I'm only using two clips. Then you're going to want to select the clips you want to make into a multicam. Then right click, and then click new multicam click using selected clips. Um, you can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to leave it. Um, you can leave all this, and then the angle sync should be switched to sound. Then click create. Then it'll analyze your content based on sound and it'll pair them up as close as it can get. Um, although in my experience it's always been off by just a tiny bit. So that's fine. So here we have our multicam and we're just going to save it in case it does crash. Then you drag your multicam clip into your timeline. Um, then you double click on this and you know you got a preview of both cameras so let's just go over to where we start talking hopefully so you'll see neither of the cameras actually have anything yet nor are they correlating with this so what we have to do is we have to click multi-cam and then they start correlating so this is extremely CPU intensive so um, be warned, even if you think you have a good CPU, you probably need one better than the 6600K to actually get it to work properly. Okay, so the multicam is working, we just don't have a preview for whatever reason. Let's just go to the start of the video. Uh, let's just control Z really quick. Okay. Um, also, I recommend selecting this. That's good. That's close enough to the beginning. Then you can just cut it using your razor tool like you normally would, and click Ripple Delete or Delete. But I just use Ripple Delete because it's so much easier. Now we actually have to go back to Multicam. Then we can switch our angles, um, just like that. But it is only switching audio or video because sometimes the audio clips are slightly off and. Yeah, it's just fine. So you'll see, I clicked that, and it swapped clip. Then, we can switch right. back to clips, just like that, and it'll freak out for a second. Um, then it'll switch clips. And, and I, yeah, it's very laggy. Yeah. That's <laughs> generally what happens when you're live streaming <laughs> and recording at the same time. So, here's a little example of something I did a while back. So the next one that's actually worth getting is probably the one that makes it so we don't have to, like... Do anything? Yeah. So, like, the one that's, um... Oh, wrong category. Apparently you clicking the arrow changes the category. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.